Hi there you guys, I'm Teddy from Bijuteo Beading and in today's tutorial I'm going to be showing you really easy and step by step how to do these hippie style seed beads earrings that are a must wear on the July morning. Also you could give them as a present if you want to a friend. Here I'm using double brick stitch and I'm making this fringe and I'm showing everything in easy steps so if you're not familiar with this you will be able to make them as well if you're new here consider subscribing with the bell in this way you will know when i post new tutorials and you will be inspired two or three times a week also you might want to check description for full list of materials and link to my facebook page where you could share your beautiful designs that you did following my tutorials i will be so happy to see them thank to all of you that like share and comment i can't thank you enough guys for these actions your support is amazing and uh, also you might want to support me in paypal or by becoming a member and the last one comes with perks that you could check in description thank you so much for watching now i'm going to start with the list of the materials okay guys so what i'm using here for this video are three colors of 11 ounce seed beads turquoise white and old gold color i'm also using earring findings in old gold color this is nymon island thread that is 0.3 millimeters or the size is d here i'm using size 10 beading needle you could use size 11 or 12 if you want this to be easier and i'm using here pliers they are not obligatory but i use them to go through the difficult bits and of course scissors and now i'm going to take about an arm span and a half of thread on my needle and i'll be back as i said don't worry if you have never done brick stitch before because i'm showing it really easy and step by step now I'm taking two white and two golden beads and you see as I mentioned in the beginning these beads are not in a cylindrical shape they are round like donut shapes but it, this still works because it is double brick stitch okay so now I take them like this and I want to go through these golden beads here Okay, now I have this. I have two columns of beads next to each other. Then what I want to do is to go in the second column that is white. Take two white beads and go back through these two whites forming another column. This is only the first row, uh, the first row that goes like this. Then I'm taking another two white beads. It's time to add turquoise beads. Two columns of turquoise beads. Then three columns of white and one gold. okay now i added my last column for this row and i want to go in the next beads here 
okay so now i'm gonna be doing decreasing brick stitch all the time it means that in each next row i have less beads than the previous row and when i do decreasing brick stitch in both ways single and double i always go through the second thread bridge uh, in every row uh, these are the thread bridges between the golden and the white and between all of the beads that you see here okay so this is the first thread bridge this is the second one and because i decrease i go through the second thread bridge with these four beads that i have here if you're not familiar just follow the steps and everything will be okay then what i do is that i go through this two beads that are closer to the center of my work and I'm going to pull in my next step I want to reinforce like this and like this I take two white beads and I go in the next thread bridge. From now on I'm gonna be picking the beads two by two, only the first step is with four beads and needs reinforcing. Okay. Then I'm going to take two turquoise beads. two white beads two columns of white beads and the last column is always golden beads Okay, now I have this. Always turn your work the way it's easier for you. I always start my rows with two goldens and two whites and I always go through the second thread bridge. You see, not through this one, but through this one. And I always reinforce after that this joint because otherwise they stretch and they don't sit well then continue with two turquoise two columns of white beads turquoise column, white column, golden column
I always start with two goldens, two whites. Go under the second thread bridge. Then turquoise, white, turquoise. Then white and golden columns. Okay, then I flip. Okay, then I take two goldens, two whites, go under the second thread bridge like I did before. Then two columns of turquoise. Again, I finish with a white and a golden column. Now you can flip like me or work in the other direction. Again, I start with two goldens, two whites, and go under the second thread bridge. One turquoise, white, and golden. Again the same sequence and under the second thread bridge. A white row and a golden row. I prefer to flip again. Four golden beads. Go again in the second thread bridge. Two 
and the last two goldens from my brick stitch part. And I'm going to take one golden, my earring finding, and one golden. And I'm going back like this through the next golden. Then what I want to do is go one more time here at the top and reinforce this joint. And after I do this, I want to go through all of those beads in this direction to reposition my thread for the fringe part. Okay, now what I want to do is to put a needle on this part, make some knots and cut it. You see, now I put my needle on this tail thread here, you see this one. And what I want to do is go through those beads in this direction. And I want to make a small knot and cut my thread. I'm making here a loop, go through this loop, pull, then go through the following few beads, pull again, and cut this tail thread. Now I will take this longer thread and I will continue with my fringe. I'll show it faster though. And what I'm going to take on my needle are three golden, one turquoise, four golden, one turquoise, four golden, one turquoise, and these here are nine goldens. Okay, you see. Okay, now I'm going to slide those down. Now, I will move this tree like that and I go through the fourth one with my needle, okay? I didn't go through the last three beads, but I went through the fourth golden. In my next step, what I want to do is pull and make this go as close as possible to my work. And pay attention what forms here at the end when I do this, okay? Then what I want to do is go through all of those beads in this direction. Okay. Now I have my first fringe ready. Then what I'm going to be doing all the time is go in the next bead here. And I'm going to pick, pick up off camera my next sequence and I'll be back. Okay, and this is the next sequence that I'm taking. Four white, one turquoise, four white, one turquoise, four white, one turquoise, four white, four golden. I always finish with four golden. Okay, and I'm going to slide those down. And the last one didn't go down, okay? I have four goldens here. And I'm going to skip those three and go through this one.
I'm not going backwards through this tree but I'm going through the the next one the fourth one okay now I will go back through all of those beads exit here pick up the next sequence and I'll be back okay guys and this is the next sequence five whites one turquoise four whites one turquoise four whites one turquoise four whites and four golden beads pause and pick those up I will go through all of those beads in the next one here and pick up the next sequence and I'll be back. Okay guys, and this is my next sequence. Two whites, two goldens, two whites, one turquoise, four whites, one turquoise, four whites, one turquoise, three whites and four golden beads, okay? As I said, I went through those beads and then I went back through the next bead and i'm sliding all of those down and making absolutely the same thing go back pick up the next sequence and i'll be back okay guys and this is my following sequence one turquoise, one white, three goldens, two whites, one turquoise, one white, two goldens, one white, one turquoise, one white, two golden, one white, one turquoise, two white, and three goldens. And I'm going to slide those down. Just like this, like I did before. Then I go like this okay and now guys what i'm gonna be doing from now on now this sequence is absolutely the same like this one that is coming and then you repeat this 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 and this in a mirror look first you repeat this one here then this one here then this one here and then this one here and I'll do this off camera and when I'm ready, I'll be back to show you the final result. If you can't do anything, you could always pa pause on the final result and repeat this. Okay guys, and I'm just adding here my last fringe from this row. And if you're wondering why I didn't show these fringes here, well, this is because they are absolutely the same like this here and you could watch from these ones and do them. Okay, now as I added here the last one, what I need to do is to make a knot and cut my thread and how I do this the familiar way. I make a loop, go once or twice through the loop with it, then go through some beads in this direction. and cut your thread as close as possible to your work okay guys and now my hippie july morning earrings done with double brick stitch and with this beautiful fringe are ready so if you like them and you want to see more and more videos like this it's a good idea to subscribe if you still haven't and in this way you will know when i make new tutorials usually twice a week and you will be inspired often you could also check description for a full list of materials link to all my social networks where you could share your beautiful designs that you did following my tutorials you might also want to support me in paypal or by becoming a member because a lot of work goes here in these videos and the last one the membership comes with perks that you could check in description as well now click on the video that you see on your screens and continue watching.